Hi, y'all. Trisha Friedman back again with the next two of our May month long micro menus to help you think more about prompt craft with generative AI. Inside our free guide, you are going to find our shifting schools driver framework. This is the way that we think about prompting. Um, and when I show this to folks, they begin to realize that prompt craft does involve creative thinking, some serious writing skills. So AI literacy is going to build on the more traditional literacies as well. So our driver frame for drafting a high quality generative AI prompt works like this. You want to designate a role. You want to reference a result. Know what it is that you're aspiring to inspire. You want to voice some key values. Consider the structure that you're looking for and get a reflection buddy. What does that actually look like in practice? Well, you can check out this sample run through where es essentially I would type all of the following into the large language model of my choice. I'm designating the role and telling the tool you are a middle school basketball coach drafting a three minute halftime speech for a tired team who need hope that they can come back and win. You value humor and poetry. The talk should start with a question, end with a call to action. Give two follow up questions to help me think about what needs revising. That end piece is something that I really like because essentially, when we're talking about human centered, learner centered AI literacy, we want to use these tools in a way that comes back to us, to our reflection, or to my conversation with my human counterpart, who is also my thought partner. So our menus have two different areas that we're looking at. Executive function, where our prompt templates help us think about engaging a tool like ChatGPT as a project manager who's a coach and mentor to help us do some task translation or to help us work on some goal navigation. The second menu digs into the power of play, which just happens to be the theme for our upcoming summer long podcast series, where I would engage a tool like Latimer AI to help me draft an interactive story or to come up with some improv ideation or for my fellow board game fans out there for me to work on some board game strategy. Now, inside our free guide, you're also going to find a protocol for reflection. Researchers actually talk about the role that reflection is gonna play in AI literacy because we need continuous learning. Generative AI tools continue to update, evolve, and change. So as you are looking through the resources in the free guide, Again, we want to set this up as a collaborative challenge. So we're hoping you have got together with even just one more person to try out these templates. And as you do, this is our protocol we'd invite you to think more about as you are working on your prompt craft. Lastly, I want to let you know that Jeff and I have a brand new self-paced course out. This is our foundational AI literacy course that we say is for our bold and brave beginners. If you'd like to get a, uh, a copy of this self-paced course, just a reminder, you can get it for 50 US dollars by taking off $25 by entering the special promo code SSPOD25 at checkout. Hope you enjoy the latest micro menus meant to help you get curious about ways that we can engage with generative AI tools for learning and community.